Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the last game of the season in our rise to Barcelona. If we look at the tables, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we could not win the league. But you can see we moved up another place to second place, um, a place I never thought we would finish this season, just based on the, the way the season was going. You can see 37 games we've played so far, obviously the last game today, 125, draw 9 and lost 3. So those draws really did hurt us. Um, and let's get straight into the schedule. Okay, so the last game we played, which was the 2-2 draw against Borussia Dortmund, which was very frustrating. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we went on an unbeaten run, but unfortunately, it just wasn't meant to be. Um, you can see we beat uh, Bilbao here, Valencia. We beat them in the Spanish Cup final, which was a very, very fantastic game um, for the neutrals, very attacking. Um, Villarreal, we beat 5-1 again. Um, but unfortunately, it was the last three, four games. Um, Real Madrid really had some difficult um, games to play. But unfortunately for us, they managed to obviously win all their games, which means that they won the league. Um, so it's a bit unfortunate, but we'll just see how it goes. Let's have a look at this, see how the players have done so far. Again, Memphis Depay, what a player he's been so far. 48 games he's played, 34 goals, 11 assists. Ansu Fati comes in second place with 15 goals and 6 assists in 23. Lou Jiong again, which is not bad, is 16 appearances, 12 goals, 6 assists. And Sergio Guerrero has 12 in 30 as well. If we look at the assist chart as well, top assist is Jordi Alba with 12, followed by Memphis Depay, Coutinho, and even our youngster Gabby. Um, so you can see he's been mixed up, but unfortunately, you know, we weren't able to do anything. So today is against Real Betis, and this is the, the this is the tactic we have been using. We have been using five at the back. Today's game is not really, you know, doesn't mean much today, to be honest with you. Um, just about finishing the season high, um, on a high, um, that's about it. But before we do that, this is the team we have to stay again. We have Langlet, Eric Garcia, Magueza, Alba, Dest, Gavi, and De Jong, Pedri in the number 10 position. As you fatty and Depay up front. This is the formation we have been using so far this season. Not too sure if we will be using it next season or we will maybe switch between that and a um, 4 2 3 1. Maybe something we'll think about. Uh, but like I said, next season will be very important um, in the players that we need to bring in. Now, it's a very difficult one now because I'm having a bit of second thoughts about keeping some of these players. But again, we spoke about it. We can't even renew a Regio's contract based on us only being able to um, pay a certain amount. When it comes to the Spanish league, they have added it onto this game that, you know, you have to be able to pay the registration fee and you also need to make sure that you don't go over a certain amount that you can pay wages for the year, I believe. Our one is about three million, I believe it's, it is. Um, and we've already met that quota, so we can't really be offering... Um, anyone on the big money so that's a bit annoying so I think I'll expect them to sort out it doesn't make sense a player that wants a contract I'm not saying he can't be upset but to say that I broke the promise doesn't make sense because at the end of the day we're unable to to confirm that transfer that uh, contract based on the rules of La Liga so something to sort out to make them know that certain players react a certain way or say certain things when it comes to certain things. It's a bit silly um, when you're trying to do things and then the player is still um, complaining, saying that you broke a promise when, you know, it's down to obviously the rules. But we'll have to wait and see and see how, you know, the season starts off next season and see exactly what we're going to do. But right, Alex Moreno with the throw, dis dispossessed Memphis Depay for us has been really, really good for us. Before we started him off in that left-hand side, uh, we've now decided to play him up front and it's been really good for us so far this season. Um, so hopefully long may that continue. Um, again, he is getting a little bit old. He's 28 years old, so we'll wait and see. He's not really on a lot of money, um, but we'll wait and see what we're going to do. And hopefully next season we can really push to win the league. A lot of silly, silly results we've had so far this season. Um, but without a doubt, the second half of the season has been really good. Um, so hopefully that's something we can build up on next season. But like I said, there will be changes. So let's see 
Ooh, Borja with the with the header just over the bar. Let's uh, demand more. Uh, let's look at the instructions just to make sure that everything is good. So attacking width, we want to go. We want to just go narrow. We'll go narrow. We will pass into space and the passing slightly shorter. Let's see how that goes. Right, 20 minutes have gone so far. It's all been real better. But again, like I said, the result doesn't mean anything because we ha we done what we needed to do, which was win our games. And unfortunately, Real Madrid won theirs as well, which meant that we weren't able to close the gap even more at the top position. Even so, we could have snatched the league. There was a possibility we could have snatched the league, but, you know, um, you know, you've got to put your hats off to Real Madrid. They played a lot of big teams i.e. Sevilla, they played Valencia, they played also Atletico Madrid, I thought uh, Bilbao, I thought those were the times those were the games they probably would drop points but unfortunately it wasn't meant to be right, Diog, on to Ansu Fati, there we go Frank Diog, again another player we spoke about, not really feeling him, if I'm honest with you, we may just give him one more season and if he doesn't buckle up his idea, he's going to have to go, um, but so far so good, that was a good move and, you know, maybe this is something that we use for away games, maybe. And then maybe home games against teams we kind of know we should beat. Maybe we'll play a 4-2-3-1. So maybe we'll mix it up. Again, we still can play wingers on the fullback position. So it might be something we might have to train up some of these players to play fullback. Um, it's a dangerous um, thing to do, but maybe we'll wait and see. Langlet's! Hits the upside of the bar. And unfortunately, that could have been 2-0. Again, there's a lot of players here which I'm undecided on what I'm going to do. But again, it's all down if we can bring the um, if we can bring the replacement. If we can bring an adequate replacement, that's fine. If we can't, unfortunately, we're not gonna make that difference. Memphis Depay, surely he's oh, lucky, takes the shot, and there we go. I see well Pedri, should I say. So I think center midfield wise we're not that bad. We have youngsters coming here. We have Pedri, we have Puj, we have um, also Gavi. So we've got a lot of players coming in that central uh, midfield that we can try and build up for the future. Again, is if we have the time to do that. But it's best to also have quality over quantity. So that's something we're going to have to think about a lot. Um, but we'll wait and see and see how that goes. Right, so far, first half has ended. It is 2-0 to Barcelona. Um, so let's just go straight into the second half and see what we can do. We can finish off this game. But so far, you know, Real Betis started the game really, really good. But we managed to get the goals. And I think we can say we've controlled this game. So we have seven minutes plus stoppage time. And let's see what we can do. Langley on the ball into Gavi, into Pedri. Page returns with the ball, plays it back to Eric Garcia. Back to Laglet. And again, this is exactly what we're going to be doing. Just holding up the ball and playing. But we will see how the next season goes. Again, like I said, there is going to be a lot of differences in the players that will be looking to keep and bring into the squad. So look out for the next season to see the players that we bring in, if we can. Obviously, um, that has been something that we'll be looking at. Again, we have to look at the finances as well. Uh, that's something we really need to look at. We've already set us with 29 million for this season. So we're going to try and really sell some of these players and get some more money and just hopefully see where that takes us for the new season. While well, Juan me with the goal, great goal by them. They've now brought one back, who makes it a bit difficult now. 2 1 now, ladies and gentlemen. And let's see if we are going to capitulate and maybe they're going to score another goal. Let's see what happens. Right, five minutes left, including stoppage time. Probably have about three minutes left. And let's see how this is going to go. Four minutes left. Let's make some changes. Lugion can come in. Boys are getting a bit tired. But it looks like we will finish this game with a 2 1. Yep, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of the game. Final whistle Barcelona 2. Real Betis won. Let's get straight to the dressing room and just say, you know what? Nice work. Everything was good. Now we have to look off for next season. Very, very big, big 
choices I have to make for this season. So, you know, that's for me to do. That's why you become a manager to make these difficult choices. But let's see how that's going to work. So that's all done. We don't need to really worry about that so far. So there we go, the end of the season. Four points away from Real Madrid. If we do remember where we left off, um, even the first start, first 10 games of the season, we were all the way in about 11th, 10th place. And, you know, we managed to pull ourselves all the way to second place, which for me is a good finish. Next season, we'll be looking to try and challenge Real Madrid and hopefully um, win the La Liga title. That's something we'll have to think, we'll have to try and do. Hopefully, we'll be able to do that. If we do do that, try and get another season. If it does become a little bit easy, then we'll obviously finish off the series there. And then we will move on to another one. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I am Fort Badger Man. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share, hit the thumbs up notification bell. And I'll see you all next season.